morning, Nigerians. Good morning to all the members of UAG. Good morning to all Grand Praja Group of Nigeria. We should be thanking God today in the place that we have, not to be bringing troubles and stories and different types of eviction. God has already bring this grant to pass. Why now we should be troubling ourselves, fighting ourselves after all the fight, after all the dramas, and after all the problems. Coming to platform telling different stories about Kenwan Kama is like we Nigerians we need delay over this morning. It's a free morning and good things don't come easy. I believe even Pastor Wan Kama himself just because of grace of God, he has already tired, but he's a man that don't give up in a race. That is why he's still fighting. This one will come today, he will bring his own story. This one will come, he will bring his own story. Why can't we just be patient? Can these five days, or these three days, or these two days bring out the morning? If this morning is with Apostle Ken Wankama, you don't have to hold it and be delaying. By now, everybody will be smiling. This bus act is not the problem. Just that this morning, I have not gotten to him. But there is a man of capacity, a man that knows something. A man that has fear of God, he just wants the Nigerians to calm down. That is the reason why he do always tell people that we have crossed the Red Sea. Really, we have crossed the we have crossed the Red Sea. But why can't we just be patient for God to do His work? Now, to this story, that will take him out of there. If Pastor Wan Kama did not discuss this morning. We we'll bring any other person to come at this bus this morning. We'll see how big problem. We'll start from square one. Maybe it's not this year again. Everybody should go and mark it. Let's not come with our dreams and call it eviction. At the end of the day, we'll start spoiling things. We should leave this man and give him a little time. At least not in the end of this February. So that everybody will be smiling. The food that we have been cooking, not one year, is already the moment for us to eat the food. We want to start fighting ourselves, saying different types of stories. Why Nigerians are just having this one problem of patience. We cannot just be patient. We are impatient in Nigeria. That's our problem. A man that will be fighting, not even one month, not two months, not three months. You have gone to station, you have gone to different places. You just woke up one morning and said that you want to take him out of there, not to this boss this morning. Definitely, you know that this morning is going to bring big problem. We should leave him there. This boss met will take place. Let's be patient. We have been hitting before now. So it's not just these few days that is remaining that we cannot be patient for. I want this boys not to meet everyone that is fighting Apostle Ken Wankama. He's a truthful man. Let's just be patient. A speech of a man to show the kind of person he is, is a good leader. Otherwise, we'll blame ourselves at the end of the day. If we lost this money, we have nothing to lose, we'll still leave. If this money, if they disburse it today, we'll leave. If they did not disburse it, we'll leave. So why can't we just be patient and let this man do what he was 
do what is right for Nigerians and all the beneficiaries to benefit and enjoy and keep smiling in their home this month of February. Since December, we have been crying, waiting for this bus mate. Throughout December, we, we went to the market, we buy things for our Christmas, we do our New Year. January passed away, we are now in February, why can't we just be patient? I beg every Nigerian to be patient this morning because I know that the dreams has come true. Every dream that any man is dreaming today, saying that a pastor can't want come out that wants to take him out of the air, is just trying to decide what is in his own mind. If it's on that position, it cannot even be in the place where Apostle Ken Wankama has fight this grant. Has fight this fight of this grant to this hour. So please, I beg everybody. I'm happy to talk to Nigerians this morning. We should be patient. God is our strength. And God will never fail us. He said in his word that we the children that cried unto him, he will never, never, never disappoint us. And today, God is going to do it in Jesus' name. Amen.